Hi, it's Patrick and welcome back to the channel. Last time I explored central Oslo with a whistle stop tour, but now I've left Norway and I'm heading to the Netherlands via a brief stop in Denmark and Germany. I'm about to pay for the Storebelt Bridge, but I'm admiring their toll booth because they've got three levels. I do love a massive bridge. I went straight to the supermarket in Germany to top up on groceries. It's so cheap there compared to Scandinavia. So, bad news for me, my tooth broke yesterday evening and one of my implants has gone wonky. Tooth implants. I found this dentist and they fitted me in next day. Let's see how it goes. It's so hot in here. Back to wearing masks, which is no problem. I should have thought of that. I have to fill out this big form. Luckily, I came with loads of time. I love the waiting room. Well, as waiting rooms go. Well, I could see pretty much on time. I had two little issues. Well, you could argue about more issues than that but a broken tooth and um, an implant that had gone wonky. They can't help with the implant because their tools and systems are different here, but they were able to sort out the other issue and it's now smooth and no problem. Total cost, 33 euros. And they saw me within less than 24 hours of me calling. So I think that's fantastic. Okay, it means I can eat something. I parked the camper van at a place called Wohnmobilpark Schacht Audorf, which had a great view of the ships coming up the local canal. Well, here's an astonishing update on the Starlink. Did it work? How did it work? Was it fantastic? Well, I'm back in Holland at the scene of its first 200 megabyte per second fabulosity to find out what went wrong. Let's see what's going on inside Barbara Bele. We need lights for this. Here's what's going on. My Starlink is in bits on the bed. And why? Well, it worked kind of okay in Denmark and then it didn't work in Sweden, and then it didn't work in Norway because there isn't coverage there yet. Came back to Denmark, worked for a day, moved on to Germany, worked for about three days of five, but not in Hamburg for some reason. Don't know why. I went through all of the troubleshooting recommended by Starlink to no avail. It simply wouldn't work. It was stuck on searching for coverage. I came back here to Holland thinking, well, it's gonna work here in Holland, isn't it? This is where I started out. This is where it was delivered to and where it worked for its first few days of life. But sadly, it wasn't to be. Still stuck on searching. I've had rather a time of it with Starlink support. Eventually they came around and then I suggested that I probably wasn't happy with the equipment anymore. They've agreed to take it back. So I'm about to get it boxed up. Okay, the first big wire is in. I'm trying to remember how to pack this in reverse, but this, oh, not like that. I think that looks right. Okay, I think this goes like so. That looks good. And somehow or other, that sits, I think, like that. Let's try it. Oh, maybe not like that. Hmm. Okay, if I hold it on with the X, it seems to fit better. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty good to me. And then this side should align with the stem of the Starlink. And we're good to go. All right, let's have a look at the refund process. So I filled out their refund process online and they've sent me an email acknowledging the cancellation, but on Fortunately, they haven't told me the refund amount, so I'm waiting on that. I now have to get this to a DHL center and the nearest one is two kilometers away. It's next morning and somebody's departing. 
<laughs> fluffy hair moments. Anywho, I got another email from Starlink that required me to print off one of these shipping labels. This being me, I've printed it off three times in different sizes. I have to paste these over the old labels on the packaging and bring it back to a partner location. So I need to put one of these labels over this and then I'll put a backup one somewhere on the side or something. Okay, let's get it done. I've dropped the package off in this unprepossessing building in an industrial estate in Groningen. This is DHL Express Partners. I've just left the campsite here in Amsterdam and I'm heading into the city, but not for my usual top three or top five or top 10. No, after 11 or is it 12 weeks in Barbara Bailey, I've booked a night in a hotel. I fancy staying somewhere comfortable. <laughs> Somebody who wants to shift to the other side because now we're uh, leaning uh, over. It's nice to see a proper bed after a long time in a motorhome. Mm -hmm. 